Amen. Now, we need to know what we are doing. 
wanalianza mashuhuri motisha ili wawatie bibi wasonge na wao lakini kila mtu ambaye sasa anaendelea kupalilia mwisho watu wengi wanatitoa pole pole na wale wanatengwa wanaumia wanaanguka wanatitoa wanasirai hadi tunapatishwa wachache ambao wanaweza kushiriki hiyo hadi mwisho na wasi kupewa wakati za kushiriki Nimeshiriki pia katika mchezo wa mpira lakini sio sana wakati hapa kupenda. And I think the very one of us who has said that when you are a teenager you have a lot of energy. You do a lot of things. Hapo baada ya sisi ni futu. Na nilicheza vizuri sana. Lakini sisi maliza vizuri. Kwa sababu wakati huo nilikuwa na anacheza namba 7 na namba 11. Baada ya kwamba nikiwa tutano ilikuwa inaitwa win. Win. Anacheza kwa win. And then kazi yangu ni kupitisha kupita. Ila kwa wana ambao wanafunga ama kwa wana ambao wako katika four players. Na tulikuwa tuna participate si kwa sababu tunaona kikombe lakini ni kwa sababu unatamani kuwa na Yesu. Na kwa hivyo nilipojeza sana nilipandikwa jini. And I'm sure you want to play football. Alipandikwa jini. Nilipandikwa malaika. Na nikapewa hiyo jina malaika. Ili nilipanga hiyo jina na mashabiki. Na najua baadaye nikakumbua sababu nilikuwa malaika ni kwa sababu nilikuwa na jeza na zile shots za Friday
Now my son kept talking about Manchester, 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 Manchester. But then my daughters promised that they would stay with me in the church. Their mother was nowhere because she's still an appendix. But I'm sure she supports money because the son is very active. Why so? I do not have chess in the Mefuka at a living at the end of the year. Because the Fraha Yamashida no one got the Papa Naposhi. Now, Shida, I tell you, Shida Papa Mianza, Nidira Baba Munamalizia. Kunan Kunati.
Unajua safari ambayo ni yangu. Paulo mwenyewe ndiye anaandika kwa kitabu hiki ambacho tunasoma cha Waefeso. Na Paulo anasema kwamba umepiga vita vizuri. Mwendo umeumaliza. Je, mahali ambapo ulipo sasa? Iwapo safari yako ingeisha leo ama tuambie tunataka kama sasa utaweza kusema nimepiga vita vizuri manake ili ni so ambayo kuanzia theology ama ile akili ya mwendazaji hata mbaya anaandikiwa hivi wanasema amepiga vita ajue alikuwa anatikia watu sana alikuwa anapiga watu sana alikuwa anaoa watu sana alikuwa anapiga sana mpiga vita vizuri mimi sisi kwa dhati but for you and me it can be relevant in this way that Christ has made us to be and there is a goal as a Christian that you need to focus on you need to do it from now from time to time have something in mind that the level is to be then act. Maisha yako maombezi vile ambavyo ulianza japo vile ya hilo wakati ulianza kwani ndivyo ulivyo wakati vile kwa pesa ndio wasi ndivyo ulivyo wakati ulianza kwa kutolea kwenda hata kesha na kufanya kazi ya huruma ya Mungu ndivyo mambo yalivyo sasa juu ya mambo ya sasa na sisi sasa amani yangu sasa sasa ni mwanzo I'm going to say to all today I listen to them. I want to go back to the church. One is more. Therefore, it's complete the race to the end and the matter will be that these others are pretty long. Because you cannot force everyone to finish. But you cannot assist them. Because you cannot force everyone to finish. But you cannot assist them to finish. Because the beauty of our race is to finish together with others. That is a joy. Personal effort. Be effort driven and not outcome driven. The next slide shows us a route map. Slide number 11. It shows us a route map of a normal marathon race. So there is the point of the start. It might not be very clear, but there is where someone starts. And for you, not only to be considered as the one who has overcome the race, you must follow that route from the beginning to the end. That is why at very sharp corners you find people standing and giving you water, encouraging you to rather move on. Move on, not yet. Kunywa mani na uwen. Financial situation. Na kumbuka ya atiti ya hile. Elisha. Elisha atifika mani. Baada ya kuona sasa, ya ya mefana kaisa, mwa uwa wana mamatua mani wotu. Na kumbukawa honte. Elisha atakimpia. Atafika mani. Bidre na sema kwa kuchaka na angalala Haka pumzika, haka hita mungu waka Haka mwambia sasa mwishano ya kwa tarini Na kama mwesi ni saidia Mili wacha nilana hapa niki Bidre na sema ya kwamba Maraiko wa mungu waka tokea na mwamusha Elisha na mwambia sasa Amuka Na halipitia katika Mila mwila ya kukumuru Haka mwambia amuka Ukule Haka kula na angalala Haka mwambia tena amuka ukule maana safari bado. Mwana iso ya sisi. Kwa hivyo, hata wala mwana nao za uwa maji kwa barabara hili unakuru kubia along the root mount. They are there to encourage you. They are not the ones themselves. But they have been placed there to encourage you that you are about and there kuno maji. And that is the call of preachers and the pastors. When they are called to encourage people to go for miles of family, when I saw the skills. So, personal people, once you have identified your goal, 
determine the action steps that are even driven, not out. Okay? Not out. We will see a very interesting story in slide number 15. Slide number 15. We see a very good gentleman there. This is a, a Kenyan ram, an idol to plot. The plot in 2019 at the Wipepe Stadium in Nigeria, when we were in the Marathon. So, we were in Zambia, and by our poor Ken, Aka Kimbia, Aka Marisa, race, Aka Aka Anguka, and the Kaoka, Suzuki, and Shika, and Anguka, and Anguka, and Anguka, and Anguka, and you see, it was the one I had to address. I had to go to the Kaoka Marisa. If you put one of the songs, I can see the song. Manaka, I had to go to the Kaoka Marisa, and Anguka, and Anguka. So he picked up. He lost the chance to pick up position number one, but he attempted to lose the race. He carried him out. He dragged him around just to make sure they were crossing the tail. They finished the tail together. And because of that, he was awarded one million shares. Not because of winning, but because of gentleness. Yes, of you. I don't know our relationship with God, or your spouse, your family and friends. At times, we, we stand beside the dead side of men in the waning moments of life. And on several occasions, held their hands as they breathed their lives. It will be more even if you don't finish, but you make others to achieve financial success. And you see, this is what happens. Even when the president the other day was sent to the deputy president and I'm a bro, I was going to give you the title, but I've seen you run the other side. Why? Because battles are given to the next person. So that the race is finished. I don't know if he was sitting on those scissors. I don't know. But I've ever watched that small clip of kindergarten children who are in a race in a their school. Now more than buy and pay our money. Do you know about that? Do you know more than that? I had to manage that. I had to eat it. He at the end of the day. Now my mother was going to catch me with my kids. I had to move out. And he became the champion of the day because he met the ground of a fried man. Man, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to Slide number, number two. We are talking about the goals one has to set. Number three is on structures. Identify what you need to stop doing. How are you getting in your own and preventing yourself from? What actions are you taking that are not in your own school? You identify those ones. Are there things you need to stop? Okay? I need to stop, for example, in that TV companies that may be simply too small. So, one thing I must do if I'm already right there. I will agree that I must stop buying cigarettes. If that is the cause, then you have said you are said to obey that call or identify what you need to 
talk about. Concentration. Identify what you need to continue doing. Identify what you consider to continue doing. Manaka katika mbio, unasema ya kama, haka kuna mashati kuwa kuna matusi. Sisi kama mungu wae kuwana. Wakati ula kukua tunafanya haka private, because it was false marathon. You are going to cross the country, but you are running around your village. Okay? It's not even a country, it's not even a location, it's just within a village. But you are going to cross the country. So, to Namibia, 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 to And this is because what they are supposed to do best, and they learn in other things. Those senses were there, and most of us have stated to them. And at other times, like myself, I refused to leave them. The man of the God in America, man, in America, is what I'm about. You are young. Because when he didn't go to the world, he was sent to the world, he was going to the world, he was going to the world. He was going to the world, he was going to the world, and he was going to the world. Na shule itapewa kisimu. So unawana ni kituwa yifara. So you will win. Ama you will post some errors. So that you will lose that place. Because you fear the kind of the sense of the world is not equipment. Identify what you need to start doing. Number two. What are you not doing currently that you remember number two or three? You need to start doing that. Were you off the road? Were you, are you off the route map to spiritual growth? You have reduced your commitment to prayer. You have reduced your commitment to the church service. Check on that. And they start doing it. So, learning to intention and the focus on consistency of people that are worried about it. This is what people need to do. Ya kwa kwa kati mungine, unaesa ansa siyo kwa pio, lakini hile consistent. Hina kusuma, hii ni kawaisa kutimiza kufika, maali ambako na pukata kufika. Characters of people that finish strong. As I say, on that side of the thing about the cross, one part about such people who finish the struggle, they understand the relationship are key. They understand the relationship are key. So for you to overcome, you need relationship. And no one need good relationship. As the Bible talks in the book of Hebrews chapter number 12, now that we are surrounded by a huge, huge crowd of witnesses, let us run with the ones, the days that has been set before us. The witnesses are our relationships. The people who are in the race are our fellow Christians. And they are also our witnesses. And the world outside here is our witnesses. They check on us. Witnesses matter. Our Fellow Christians matter. Okay? So that this race is not successful and we are the one of us is successful. And then she says, This race is not sweet until everyone enjoys this race. But then she says, You see, we desire such people like the people who should be given the presidential commendation. But at times they are not. Because they do live for things, and the people may not know, but they impact a role in the society. They are like long runners. When we seem to be curious, the next time, when we, we are like long runners, the Bible says, chastisement. You know, it's the same way in Hebrews that talks about chastisement. That at times, these days, 
may not be very sweet. Running a race. And when our focus is Jesus Christ on the cross, we go through a lot of things. Okay? But we learn through that process. Some of the things that happen as we do the race, focusing our eyes on Christ on the cross, are very tedious. You are not down by your people. You know? They hit you. They knock you down. They threaten you. But you keep planning as you move on. That's why the dead times the Roger Seminary Professor Howard Hendricks said that the average person dies between two and seven years after retirement. Average person. And it is because they have lost their partners in life. Whoever used to wake up and go to work, come back on the street, go back to work. If you miss that focus that you are used to as an adult, you die within a question. For most of them, their partners was that they are wrong. Once they are wrong, they are wrong. From something and retiring to something. There is a big difference. Retiring from something and then retiring to something. Does it mean when you are not a leader, you are not in the church? Hello? Does it mean when you are not a church chairman, you cannot do anything in the church? Hello? Does it mean that when you are not sitting in prayer and worship here, you cannot do anything for the church? We must be life long run. Who keep learning every time, step by step, as we achieve what was supposed to achieve. The next point is that they have discovered their mission in life. Such people, they have discovered their mission in life. Mission statements for organizations that are common, but that many of us have one. Like, do you have a mission statement for your life? I want to say that you should have a mission statement and it should be a concise enough to express, to express your life, a teacher. So, very simple. He said that you have to be very simple. And they say, Ireyake, Ata, Ita, my mission is maximize. Now, I can bring the teacher, I can work with the bomb, and then there. Kira mutu ada musawa maksimis. Kira mutu ada musawa nasib maksimis. Kira mutu ada musawa nasib maksimis. And the way he was asked, he said, I am maksimis. Akasema, our own mission is to maksimis not only the calling of our own lives, but also the church responsibilities and the pastors we serve. Maksimising the call of God in others' lives. But not just in yourself. So it's very simple. And it can be printed on this issue. Not only your mission has several benefits. One is that it helps you know what to say, not to. Another guy who is called a singer, a cartoonist, he said, when you are not doing what you are supposed to be doing, it is like writing with a wrong hand. You can do it, and after a while you can get pretty good at it, but it is always awkward. Kuna wakati nilikuwa, nikiwa plus one. Nilikuwa na nika na leta. But you know those days, it's come and all. Mucha paket. Muna inkari, nilikuwa kia nika na leta. Those days, in a lot of stories, in a chapel, in a church, in a marriage, because it is bad manners to write music. Therefore, and I didn't know, but you see, you learn much later. Until when I get, I saw many people I left handed. Wakati mato kwa kichaji tu na juu wa tu kwa kwa left handed. That's when you realize who it was now. So why was this teacher hitting me? And you see, you are forced to nashikisho kalamu na mwalimu hivi. 
ya rais akwambia nikaoani kwanza mkono ikitatembaka tena ni ngumu it was terrible but you see this cartoon is says you may do something at the end forcing writing with another hand and you may find it painful but you realize it is very awkward when you realize that is not what you are getting Amen. They are externally focused. Number four, they are externally focused on helping others. Those people who finish well and strong, they are focused on helping others. The happiest and the most fulfilled people I know are not in pursuit of happiness and fulfillment. They are too busy helping others. They are lost in most of the greater or are greater than the They are busy planning each other who say they will never see. Or, as a psychiatrist, a man, Nicole Pucci, the fruit of one who grows on other people's trees. Financial situation. One man, I'm not going to ask you to find it, you may not have found out. People might not be traced the genesis of the union of that child to that family. People may not know. But inside your heart, you know there is a lot of peace because of the accomplishment of that day. Vanessa says, you know, at times we start things not because we must celebrate them or enjoy them, but because we want others not to fail in the future. That's why we can sacrifice their lives. First, generation to the generation of Kenya, second, the generation of the time, because of this. But today, those people who have the best to talk without fear, and they say, I speak without fear, no intimidation. They enjoy the fruits of people who have been casualties in the past. So you are forced today, not to help yourself, but for the sake of others. It's a great day to the kingdom of God. They build accountability into their lives. That each person needs three people in their lives. And the first person is Paul. Paul is a representative one, older and the most sort of person who can watch us, all of you, watch, mentor, and help us in our work. The second person he talks about is Barnabas. You need a Barnabas in your life. A Barnabas is that friend. Who look out, look you into your eyes and ask the man questions. Abanabas. This person is one who loves us enough to hold us at And the third person is a demon. You need a demon, a young person, or a person to whom we are boiling our lives. Yes, that's the question. Regarding accountability, another professor says we all need other people, God. Our lives and the scripture gets us in one. Proverbs 27 says, A silent shall be silent, so that one man is continent shall be another. You need another person in your life for you to complete the lesson from and the power. People say, Maybe it's very done that I'm going to be a little bit. Because I'm going to be a little bit. 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 But we need people. Around us, next to us, who speak to us, who encourage us to be. That is Paul, Barnabas, and the Timon. Proverbs 16, 22 says, There is wisdom in the council of others. So don't comfort yourself when you are alone. When you say, I want to finish the race alone, I fear people who speak in tongues in church and who don't care if the next person is. Because the Bible says the next person must be able to be the So if you speak in tongues, you mind your business when you feel it's harder than ours. That is not the way. Walk with others. And encourage others and the pray for others to get that revelation. Those who feel strong do not enter their identity solely in their vocation. They are one of the ministry that is not defined. And because I want to end, I just want to 
done very fast. So that you may have this right like today. They have prepared themselves for seasons of life. Slide like number seven. At times people don't want to imagine that other people can complete the task they start. Effectively. It happens sometimes. People think no one should do like I did. No one can achieve like I did. Never. Prepare to be alive to see the things of life. So you know, our enemies men are very strong prayer. We pray this prayer. Lord, help me not to die before I die. Even that prayer. And they say, Lord, help me not to die before I die. How many people die before they die? Very many. Because you lose a job and you sit on the Lord to die. And the Lord is saying, I'm taking a whole this job for another bigger job elsewhere. But you take a rope and hang yourself. You buy medicine and you want to overdose yourself. Simply because you want to die before you die. And they say, and help me, Lord. To so much of myself by your grace that I will not just make it across the land, but the land with the strength, with the fire. I pray that prayer for you as well. Amen. May this be a prayer. His aim was not just to run, to cross the line, but another to run with the strength. I see another Maradona. The lady from Kisi, and I told you, she finds the opponent crossing. And I can hear him, my uncle, that you have a poor, poor, a compinia, a poor, poor. Philippia, Ufunga, and Yako Pigua, and I'm not a papa machine, but me, Ufu, is it talk about? And that is the prayer of prophesying things. In concluding, we are saying, as we run this marathon of faith, we need to throw off everything that we lost and the sin that so is in us. And we run in the perseverance, the next month out for us. Hebrews 12, verse 1. Excess package, we only need our marathon and we need to tie it and in the better ground. This is not a to be living of anxiety, worry, bitterness, grief. Our ways to be and confess is so that we are not this one. This is the evidence that we saw down our ways to the home. We can know that the examples of faithful in the previous number 11. All those men of faith that were listed there. The likes of Saul, the likes of Abraham, the likes of Sarah, the likes of Perea. They form a formation of strong people who finish well in their race and they are here for our invitation so that we can remain strong of us in this race. One of the greatest influences in our preoccupation is the preoccupation of ourselves. Instead of staying focused on the road that we are running, as we saw in that route map, we are so focused on ourselves as now. One day we participated in the school events of our, one of our daughters. I don't want to mention the name. But when we went there and we were looking at how they were doing the races, we noticed our daughter had the energy to run, but her program, she ran face up like this. And so everyone was struggling for her. And uh, she wrote, I first position to the opponent and she became second because I think she focused too much up than seeing where she's going. And you know, we didn't have energy out to, to tell her. But you know, we know that next time if you look straight to where the rose is there, please. And she did that the next time they participated, she was the number one. I 
did this time to take the dimension of our hands. Now, for us, our focus is Jesus Christ, not just on our day. Our focus is Jesus Christ. Looking to ourselves and looking behind us in the state of keeping our eyes for him. We need to keep our eyes on Jesus to start at the finish line, waiting for us to complete the day. We should always be focused, be the focus of our faith because he is a great giver and well to be of faith. Jesus Christ is the same example of the best role model for finishing the role marathon during his life on earth he had one position. Redeem, score, wrestling, torture, destroy. Yes, Jesus is one because was afraid by the glory that was awaiting him and Jesus Christ is Christ is the same Christ that we are going through. When we finish the marathon, we find our rewards there that should be enough motivation to keep us signing the days to the end. Look at that person in slide number 24. He's focused. That group is narrow. But he's not looking on the side because if he looks at the back down there, he might be scared and lose his time. Finishing well, he says he's going to advance on the devil. Even when the black man is empty, just when we get in the back, he's strong to put fast away. Because she has said that this guy is becoming success. Look at the job she said for him. Potiphar did not lose the focus. Even if he was put in jail, again he came out of the darkness. Regardless where he stopped the journey, he picked it up. Regardless of how he started the journey from the beginning, with all those blackness, he made it to because God was with him. And so, I hope those people who know the theology of Joseph, I saw this somewhere. In that last uh, uh, slide number, next is slide number 25. It's a great leader. I saw it in WhatsApp and I had to be in that so that I can encourage you with this. One great leader, he said once, that first they will love you, then they will mock you, then they will fight you, then they will, then they will win. Don't stop, keep going. Yes, I see. But yes, I see. Jesus said, finish his song, even when he encountered the devil. He always reminded the devil, it is written. I'm sure we can do that. To tell the devil, even when he obstructs us, it is written. That Christ is there. Come. It is written. Christ is the finisher. I don't mind what you are praying from sight. Because if Jesus can come, you command them like we said to the other brethren the other day in a room that if sickness is come to our bodies, we may not be here. The same way I want you to be here. This is my day to be here. And the sickness is okay. Now, as we come to the course of the year 2021, things might not have been very well. You lost your business, you lost your life, you lost your relatives, you lost so many things, even your investments. Certainly, things were not very good. But God is faithful. And the concern about your life, the next slide, and your welfare. And he is giving a promise to you concerning your spirit and his spirit. Confirms these things as we get some of our feet. These things we are going to say together as we get up, as we finish our studies. Jesus Christ is promising a new chapter. The last is like that. Jesus is saying something that uh, regardless of the situation that you have gone through, may your life stand again, and I want you to, to follow that. Amen. May your life 
stand again. Amen. May your health become complete again. Amen. May your business rest again. Amen. May your family stand again. Amen. May your wealth stand up again. Amen. May your neck remember that again. Amen. May your heart may God honor your sins. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Bless you.